First Lady Margaret Kenyatta is in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia for the three-day conference. The annual forum convened by the Forum of African First Ladies aims at developing thorough strategies to combat cancer in the continent. Margaret lauded strides by SCCA in the last decade to fight the disease, adding that the initiative has raised awareness and further ensured that there is sufficient access to information and facilities to effectively prevent and manage the disease. Together, we have lobbied and raised our voices to highlight cancer as a critical issue for policymakers. This has been our clarion call. And as I have sat and listened to the speeches, presentations, and testimonials that have been shared here, my heart has swelled with pride at the stories of our success. She also challenged African states to work hand in hand to eradicate the disease, adding that this will directly impact in reducing the number of cancer deaths in the continent. We all have the resources we need to make a radical difference in Africa's health care and to ensure that cancer does not continue to be the dominant cause of death in the developing world. We have the power and the purpose the wisdom and the will, the ability and the empathy to make a lasting difference. We are losing the people we saved from HIV and AIDS and other communicable diseases to cancer acts. It gave cancer the upper arm in our continent and this has to stop. As he officiated the start of the conference, Ethiopia's Prime Minister called on all African First Ladies and key stakeholders to remain committed in fighting the disease. We must stand firm together in one common purpose and join hands in, our, in order to fight this common enemy of humanity. We need to work diligently towards the prevention of cancer because, as you all may know, it is the most cost-effective and sustainable way of reducing the burden in the long term. We have a critical opportunity as leaders, as patriots, as Africans, as citizens and as friends to collectively commit to combating this disease. Step up our individual efforts in cancer prevention and catalyze best practices where we have succeeded. Separately, First Lady Margaret Kenyatta officially received the African passport at the AUC headquarters. The African passport was launched last week in Chigali, Rwanda, during the AU summit. It allows one to travel anywhere within the continent without requiring a visa. Juni Karisa for Channel One News Hour.